It is December 24th, 2020, and this is the latest news from Medellin, Colombia. Follow along. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Again, this is the latest news update for Medellin, Colombia. And I wanted to put this out because I did a video yesterday on uh, how to act outside of the country and how not to go to jail in another country uh, and to stay safe. More than anything, you know, I consider you guys and gals, my guys and gals, you know. So when I say my, I got some guys down there, I got some girls down there, I, I, you know, That's what I'm saying. I know I have some people who are subscribers or viewers who are down in Medellin or in Guatemala or in whatever other country that have watched my videos before in the past or continue to watch the videos. And I wanted to put this out just to reiterate, be safe. I did a video a few uh, weeks ago about pickpocketing and a pickpocket alert. I'll leave the uh, link above here and down in the description. But I did this video because I heard that they were pickpocketing for uh, cell phones in Parque Yeres. So I put that alert out. Now, as of yesterday, yesterday afternoon, the 23rd of December, uh, someone was killed near Parque Yeres. Um, and I want to read this story real quick. This is going to be a quick video again. And this is right before I hit the road. But I wanted to put this out because I know somebody who's near uh, where this happened. And I wanted to alert all of you guys, if you're going down, be alert. I mean, you're in another country. When you get too comfortable, you think you're in the U.S. and you think all is well. What you know, financially, a lot of countries are hurting and people are getting more desperate. So anyway, let me jump into this first story. It's entitled uh, What Anger? And again, the translations are not literal uh, for stealing his cell phone. They murdered a tourist in La Presidenta Park. And I'm going to show you where this is also. So here's a quick story. Um, During the night last night, Wednesday 23rd, the homicide of a man was registered in the linear park of La Presidenta, a few meters from Yeres Park sector in El Poblado, uh, Comuna uh, 14 in Medellin. It is about a Panamanian citizen who was identified as 44-year-old Patrick Antonio Blasidel Tirado, uh, who was known uh, who was known had arrived in Medellin to enjoy a vacation. Regarding the facts, it was known that the victim was moments before chatting in a commercial establishment in the company of his relatives when he went to the area for a few minutes. At that time, he was approached by a thief who stabbed him to take away a cell phone. It is worth mentioning that the community of this sector, El Poblado, denounced the acts of violence and are consistent in this city park where criminals take advantage of the solitude of the site several times a day to rob and attack citizens. It's got a few pictures out here. Now this park is is known to me, specific to me, my first trip, if you saw my video last week about my first trip to Medellin, a couple of the pictures were from this park. Um, Let me show you on a map. So here's 43rd, also known as uh, Poblado Avenue. And the reason, one reason I want to bring this up is because I have a subscriber who's actually staying now at the Hotel Dan Carlton. This is where the murder took place, right here. Um, this park, you know, the first time I came, and Park Yeres is over here, just so you know, this the main park is right here. But if you've been there before, you know all of this up to Provenza, and all of this is. Parque Yeres, really. I mean, you might as well say it. It's not the park, but all of these restaurants, bars, and you'll see it all over here. You can cut in the park here, which I have by one of these bridges up here. And if you remember, there's a restaurant, if you've been there, there's a restaurant that has tree stumps that you sit on. It's over in this area. That's where they enter the park. And there's a gym set right here, too. Um, You know, the metallic and, I guess, brick uh, weight set that's out in public all over the city, too. But this is where this murder happened. So they're stealing cell phones. Go back and look at my other video again. Go back and look at that video about pickpocketing in Medellin. Um, This is important news. And I'm putting this out there there because I want my subscribers to be safe. I won't say my subscriber's name who's staying at the hotel, uh, Dan, just with um, his privacy concerns. But um, I want you to know that this is the park. Now, this park is absolutely beautiful when you walk through it. It's it's like you can see here the the trickling and the, you know, it's like a bubbling brook type deal. 
But right here, I remember the last time I was there and Catherine came to visit me. We were walking here before we went to this other park. We walked down here, and as we walked past this park, we saw a few homeless. Now, been in Medellin, I don't know how many times and for how long. Very rarely do I see someone homeless. There's people on the corner. They don't beg. They're selling something, whether it's now and and those are mostly Venezuelan, where people are flipping and doing tricks and some type of show at the light where they make money. There's not really begging going on in Medellin. And you really don't see any homeless. Well, I didn't see any homeless. I'm sure they're there. They're everywhere. But in this area right here is where I noticed it. So I would say, you know, for the time being, you know, don't go through this park. It is secluded. It's tropical. It's beautiful. And next thing you know, somebody jump up on you. And definitely don't go through at night, whether it's lit or not. Okay. So I did uh, duplicate this story in, in a few other sources. And I'm looking. The first one is. Uh, Minuto 30, minuto30.com. Uh, but this one is La Shiva, who's got a lot of local information. So it just shows, you know, where he was killed on the walkway, stabbed for his cell phone. He was out with his family on vacation, you know, so, and I don't know where my subscribers are from. So obviously there's concern on my part for them. Um, but I wanted to show you this story too, because this reminded me of the one, the first time I heard gunshots in Medellin, Colombia. It was told to us that uh, there was a gun shot in the air. After he was about to be robbed, he shot the gun in the air and beat the guy who tried to rob him. Well, it looks like almost the same thing happened in this case. He set up to steal a bus and they downed him to beats. Again, the Spanish translation is not always literal. So when I read it, it sounds scrambling, scrambled sometimes. But in short, the guy tried to rob everybody on a bus. And it says uh, in a video, and here's the video. Uh, the moment in which several citizens got off uh, a subject from a bus was recorded in which he tried to rob all passengers who were inside. The events occurred in Boyaca, Las Brisas neighborhood. The citizens attacked him until the authorities arrived. So they will defend themselves. They don't wait for the police to come. So you try to rob somebody down there and they take, they gang up on you and get it done. OK, now it's Christmas Eve. I'm not going to leave you with all bad news. So this is one thing I told you before I wanted. To, and I'm going to leave a link for this site, too. It's cu.epm.com.co. Um, cu.epm.com.co. I'll leave a link again below. But I wanted to start off at the main page because for those who are not able to get down to Medellin to see the lights and the light show is amazing from what I can tell. I've never seen it in person. It's like, you know, when your local town has a light show, like we may have it on a boardwalk or we might have it in Galveston where you ride through or walk through this little dip. This looks like 20, 50 times more than this. So, but I want to show you that it is virtual. So if you cannot get there or you are there and you're on lockdown, because as of tonight, you're on lockdown until the 26th, you cannot come outside. Then I want you to scroll down to here, virtual, click a key, click here. Um, and it loads. So you see all these things popping up. You can actually click on one of these and it'll take you virtually to the show. So check this out. Not only do you get to see the beautiful Medellin, but this is incredible. I mean, and this looks like it's over the Medellin River, which not the prettiest that I recall. And I don't know what area this is, if it's near Poblado, Industriaria, so I don't know. But you can say continue it and it takes you to the next one. Look at this. It's amazing. So you can get back out. How do I get back out? Oh, you, it says you can do it, I guess, with glasses, but in 3D. Let's see, back to home. Okay. I don't know. Let's just pick another one just to show you. Region Amazonia. Looks almost like the same thing. Let me show you something different. How about this one? Okay, look at this. This has got to be beautiful. Now, this is, I think, closed uh, until the beginning of January as of yesterday because of, obviously, because of the virus. And they don't want people packing in the park to see it. But, I mean, some of these are amazing. Look at some of the videos. There's a lot of subscribers. I mean, a lot of, uh, actually, one of my subscribers, I forgot her name, had some nice ones. Nice pictures. Why do I keep going to the same one? Oh, this is all in the river. So this is all above the rivers. It's just further down. Looks different. Look at this. This is incredible. 
So people come down, I guess. Wow. Let me get something not on a river, okay, in the park. There you go. Anyway, you get the gist of it. So, and I'll leave a link to this before. Please have a Merry Christmas. I'm on my way to DC, so watch out for those videos soon. Check out my new channel, probably within the next couple of weeks, Big City Houston. Thanks again for watching. Please be safe. And if I'm offering any benefit at all, do me a favor, go down and hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be alerted of any new videos, and like. Again, like, like, like. I can't tell you how much like helps the YouTube algorithm. And comment. I, I like to chat with you guys too, so I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Be safe. We have a YouTube channel. Like it. Please comment and share if you like the video. Please subscribe and kick the bell.